I bet you can't wait to see how I transform the studio. I love to watch makeover videos and I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this. The space transformed into something unique, more interesting, more functional, more comfortable, better lighting, too fun. The entire experience of this space is stellar. P.S. Here's a really quick blooper of my original version of this intro. Enjoy. Today is a big day. I have decided to embark on rearranging the entire studio and it's scary and exciting and it's going to take a lot of time because I have a lot of things, but I thought I would videotape it along the way. It was prompted by this mess because things are just not organized and also I lifted my desk up. It's always been flat and I've had these wooden boxes with supplies on them which are very cumbersome and I moved them into cups and now they're crammed in that side and they're also in the sun and I don't like that. Those are the boxes. And also with the desk being lifted up like that, these boxes can't stay on the desk anymore and I really want to put these in cups too. I have some great Derwent watercolor pencils as well as some Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils that I really want to have on my desk. And I don't want them sitting in the light on the right side, plus it's blocking my light. I wanna turn the desk around and rearrange everything. Also, this big piece of furniture is taking up so much space. It's tall, cumbersome, and it's gotta go. Woke up this morning, excited to do it. Couldn't even match my socks, apparently. So let's get started and disassemble that desk. All right, this piece is going downstairs. We are gonna have a secondary studio in our basement. Again, this is a cumbersome, very large, heavy piece that sat in the middle of the room. Also, the cords being back here has been really difficult to get to. But look at how much space that already opened up. And here's Michael's space but so much more room already. And these lights are taking up so much space. All right, it's gone. It's like half the studio is more open. All right, now I'm hot. I'm officially hot, so I'm gonna go sit outside with my unmatched socks. Richard is in his little cave because he does not like furniture moving at all. And let's just go around the room and look at the mess so far. So I've started to move a bunch of stuff. That big red thing is gone in the back, which was really annoying. Officially turned the desk around and moved this wood thing up against it where there's drawers. I'm really liking this. I was unsure because I'm trying to figure out where to put my computer, but this is probably gonna be the setup. Now I brought up this red table. We have to use the red table. Look at the mess that we've made. And the corner's empty. And the dogs now wanna come in and smell because they're like, what is going on? So I realized that we did need to get a new piece of furniture to put the desk on. There's no other piece of furniture it can be on. Went to Savers, picked this pink desk up for $13 and this bookshelf for 20 bucks. It was a big score. Don't know if I'm gonna keep it pink, but for $13, that's a win-win. So I also picked up these containers from Savers. They were a little spendy, but cute, and I know that I'll have them for a long time. I picked up this big box here because I'm gonna take all of the Daniel Smith and I'm gonna put it in here because having this big, huge, cumbersome thing is weighing down the room. Out it goes, so heavy. Two pieces of big furniture left the building, and there is all my paint. So now that Michael's out of that corner, I put the desk there, but I'm also going to show you with the pink desk on the other side. I'm not sure which one I like better. Okay, I like this better. The heavier piece needs to be on that far wall. And Michael moved to the other side because every time I walk out of the room, I shake his desk. So him being in the back corner by the fireplace by the dog is going to be a lot better. The computer fits on it 
perfectly. We decided to get rid of the little tealish green seated area that's where those flat files were. Move those flat files over and I think we're gonna bring up our old couch and put it in the center. We officially moved the couch from downstairs upstairs and I'm already liking it. A better place for us both to sit because the other sitting place was super tiny and also a secondary place for the dogs. And Richard is being a good foreman. He's over there, he's about ready to fall asleep. So now I'm finally sitting down and putting some things into the cart. I think having that on the right side of me will be good. All the things I have to organize. And my beautiful Paulina Cassidy, or now she calls herself Paulina Fay, piece that Michael got me and all my Daniel Smith watercolor and just an absolute mess on my desk some old journals and look who is still being an amazing foreman there he is doing his best to uh to deal with all the changes all right moved over my neo colors in their little i believe temporary cups moved over the karen dash museum aquarelle moved over my schminka and my brushes and a bunch of other things like my Derwent's all under there and these drawers are almost empty now so there's a couple things still in them but generally these are going to get out of here of course like I mentioned the couch is a big hit super comfortable so Michael started rearranging his area over here in the back corner and I think it's going to be good because over here I'm moving around a lot I'm in and out of the room and I have a lot more going on than he does. He's very quiet, and being in the front of the space was actually quite disruptive for him. And look what I found, another sleeping dog. So now he's out here on his bed, sleeping. I also got this organizer for my art, but unfortunately it came broken. So at the end of the video, you won't get to see it, but you'll see it in the future. Also got myself a new larger panel for my workspace. So as of this point, things are making a lot of progress. The room is really getting more organized and it's exciting, this part of it, really putting everything back where it goes and knowing that you will get to enjoy this very, very soon. So I think it looks good. I think it looks better and it definitely has a more open feel. We're pretty much done. It's nighttime so I can't wait to show you what it looks like in the daytime. See you in the morning. Well good morning. We are completely done with the space. Also here is a quick before picture because I know it was really messy and that big huge thing in the middle was actually moved real close to the window and that's the only difference but i wanted to share this before we went into the whole tour of the changes it looks so much better than the other space and in this part of the video i'm going to walk you through a full studio tour so you can get a feel of how all the things have changed and where everything is in the space I love having everything in that corner where I can just turn my chair around. I love having access to all of my storage as well as I just love having the couch. So right here I have all of my storage for art that I'm working on. And then I have some flat files here. There you have some stickers and you have some prints and then you have some print packaging and here is the lover's eye oracle deck that i'm working on as well as some things that i'm going to review here pretty soon and there are some bookmarks and vellum and this is some old artwork of mine old new mostly old some weird boards and whatnot but we might go through this at some point and just look at the ridiculousness of it all. Here's a good example of the ridiculousness. All right. So in this drawer, we have the boards that I tape my art on. And then I have my transfer paper and resources, extra paper, more extra paper, 
and at the top there's some goodies there's some ink droppers we have some Sportsky crystals we have some Karen Dash Neo Color 2s and generally just a bunch of goodness and then those little amazing colorful Mexican art creatures and my wall filled with art. I didn't finish the other side of the wall yet, but I'm really digging the couch. We sat on it last night. We had some dinner. It was wonderful. This also needs to be organized. I just left it as it is, but needs to be organized. Oh, and here is a little sacred fauna doll. We've been making these recently and we're going to start putting up up on my site and my store. So if you're interested in purchasing any of those dolls, go to aniacon.com and look under the sacred fauna area. All right, more flat files, plexiglass, printing stuff. This is some of my original art that I have stacked in here. They used to be in portfolios, but because I use colored pencil, it gets a little weird if they move around. So flat is better. More random art, some from people. Here's a picture of my partner in high school. Just things that I love. More of my art, things that aren't finished, and just random things. I think I have to organize this stuff again. There are some mats and some projects that we created, a design that Michael and I created, a little project, a color wheel project, a project from one of the other classes. And then in here is a bunch of extra stuff that I have that I might not need right away, as well as some more palettes and cups. And that probably should be moved flat because it is knives <laughs> it is razor blades oh and there's the artist tape some stamps and then let's move up to the top and there are some of the things that I've purchased there are some of the palettes that I have there's more little teeny tiny palettes and things to put supplies on and now over here more large palettes a bunch of little teeny tiny pieces of artwork that Michael's made me over the years there is my paper and some old portfolios more paper and beads and all the books that I have as well as the nonsense up there at the top And this is a little bird that Michael made me with string and stuff. And it's like, you can put it together yourself. It's like a make a bird yourself. I don't remember what it's called, but it's awesome. There's another piece that Michael made me and how cute. Another piece that Michael made me as well as a big piece in the back was made by a young Russian artist and there's Jenkins with a little doll next to him my best friend made as well as another sacred fauna doll that is up in the store now and there's michael's minimal area because he's very different than me the dog's area the plants move to the other side my epson printer as well as that lamp i got for ten dollars at a garage sale and it's real glass and this is my most favorite find. Did not plan for this, but when I tried to stick my small round palettes in here, they fit perfectly. <laughs> so it's like a little palette cubby. And then now I have access to this on this side, which will look nice because it faces Michael's side. And I have stencils and artwork in here and also more supplies. In this drawer is where I decided to put all the Daniel Smith. I decided to use that other white basket to put all my Holbein. So this drawer was bigger and I could sift through it easily. These are more things that I'm going to review. You guys already saw the review for that Nick Pro pencil set. Old photographs. 
And then in here, some random masks and just like creative nonsense. And now underneath here is a bunch of old journals, a stapler, just random things. And this is the view from the side of the room. The sun is shining in. I love having my cutting board that close. And this big plant in the middle of the room. Keep my brushes here. And here are all of the supplies that are arranged by color. And let's go ahead and sit in the space here. And this is what I get to see. When I'm making art, I can talk to Michael. I can see the dogs up there on the couch. I see a dog right there. Hey dog, what you doing? He's like, man, it's clean. That was stressful yesterday. That's a good boy. So here is everything color coded and very handy off to my right side rather than being in drawers. As much as I love the drawers and how it looked, it was just very hard on my arms. And I mentioned I put the whole bind in here instead of the Daniel Smith. And then there's the whole bind I use often. These are all the other colors, but the other ones are what I use like every single day, skin tones. And then we have the Karen Dash Aquarelle pencils here and then underneath we also have the Shaminka as you can see and some more Daniel Smith gouache and there's some Derwent pencils basically everything that was in those boxes is now here little tiny tester papers and that's it I have everything I need and then the ugly towels <laughs> sit under here you can't really see them as you saw before when you walked up and there's my artist tape and my kneaded eraser and my hand sharpener by ducks and my applicator where i stick in my neo color too just a side note i got these late in the game after they came late so i got them after i set everything up but you will get to see them in action here, but the rest of the video, they're not in the picture. And here they are set up. I love it that the Neo colors are laying flat, so even the small pieces, I can see them. And when they're in cups, you can't see the tiny piece as well. When they get too short. All right, just turn right around and I can use a computer rather than having to go all the way around or go to the other part of the room for jewelry. I have a jewelry area and a computer and I don't even need that chair. I can turn my chair around and a handful of little friends. I mean, that one's not going up for adoption, but a couple of these other ones will go up for adoption. That one, little tiny bunny is mine, but a little collection for now until they find their new home. And then I was working on these ACEOs for the Bad Apple auction coming up here on February 28th go to the Bad Apple Facebook page and you can bid on amazing art and all of the things I love and collect on my wall. I got that necklace recently, it was ridiculous. I hand sewed these bags like 20 years ago. My brushes, extra brushes, something Michael made me that's beyond cute. Artwork by artist Novi Beige, another thing Michael made me, another doll Michael made me. Still unsure about the pink desk as in color, but the desk is perfect. I can put my mouse and my mouse pad and my keyboard in here and actually have space on the desk if I need it. It is small enough and compact enough. Here is glues and my glue gun and mediums, things that are potentially drippy and the chain on my wall as well as more of my journals and my little owl friend and it's just good. It's so much better. I just feel really good about the changes and I'm glad that I took the time to videotape it along the way because historically it's something great to have for me, but it's also a lot of fun to have for you. So what do you guys think about the change? 
Do you guys like it better? Do you think that it looks more comfortable, inviting, easy to use, and not such a mess? Well, I sure do. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Richard would be really sad if you didn't. See his face? Please like and subscribe. And if you're looking for other content, don't forget, I'm also on Patreon.